This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Please, please stay away from Syria. Um, I don't want my mom to be killed under the... the so, in my last Syria vid, you saw an interview with Rula Tulkali, who is from the eastern Mediterranean Sea part of Syria. She brought up, or triggered, what I would call an important concept. And she mentioned that her some of her family is going back to Syria because they feel helpless in the United States. Before I get to the rest of her interview, I thought I should point out what a fallacy this is. I learned the hard way. When there's a war zone overseas, you're not helpless in the United States. You're helpless if you go overseas. In most cases. Secure bases are one of the most underrated assets in a conflict, just as casualty-free generals are one of the most underrated personalities in a conflict. The fact is you can do a great deal from a secure base. You can't really do that much if you're on the front line, generally. Just a thought and a warning for those of you who think you need to go rushing toward danger. There is a place for it, but it's a limited place. My obsession was the Bosnian conflict, and I did a great deal more good from inside the U.S. than I did when I was on the ground in Bosnia. I shot some videos there, no one watched, hardly anyone. I got dirty looks from pretty Croatian girls. I handed over a half a pound of heart medicine that was in my backpack. And that's about all I accomplished in two trips. But while I was stateside, I just went to my local Catholic charity and picked up all their surplus medicine as it was about to expire. Sent that overseas. It was legal to do that at the time. I probably sent about $30,000 worth of medication. That probably saved a couple lives. It's harder to do everything now than it was back then from a legal standpoint, but I wish this young lady's folks had not gone back. I hope she does not go back. In the U.S., you have a voice and the ability to mail things. In Syria, you're just a target, probably disconnected from the rest of the world. Later, if not now. Anyway, back to Rula's ideas. I don't want my mom to be killed under the 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 flag of uh, dictatorship, and we are we are saving you because my mother been happily safe uh, under my president's ruling uh, my country. Do you have a sense? Who would you say? What institution or government would you say is at the root of the current problems in Syria, if any? What do you mean? Can you? Uh... Uh, do you know what I mean by the root of the problem? Uh, the root of the problem, but to to actually to to be honest with you, there is no there is no roots uh, 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 or a problem in in Syria except that Israel is next to us and it's the whole situation that they just want Israel to be. Uh, all its borders to be exactly safe and it to be hated <laughs> yes exactly yeah so it's not about Syria it's just they are making uh, my country a land of war between uh, the states Russia China Iran and Israel so it's nothing about my president it's not about the it's it's not about the system over there it's just some dirty politic games that been I don't know. Just what my 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 people, my own friends, my my family under this. Now, if you had, however, come to my camera and said something bad about President Assad, would that have put you or your or your family in danger? Absolutely not. And again, um, my president is neither any kind of system or any kind of president in the whole world is perfect. Uh, but what I can say, um, uh, I had a, few, a free education, I had a free care, 
uh, for 26 years. So is my two sisters, and so is my two brothers, and so is my mom. Uh, is that going to put me in danger? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, well, I don't do, recall. Do, I don't recall I'm invading any other countries in the last 20 years either. So. <laughs> I mean, uh, there've been some problems with Lebanon, but he's he's yeah. not perfect. Uh, we do call for some changes. Why not? So, uh, I mean, it's I don't know. To answer your question, absolutely not. Um, uh, again, I just want to make sure that to know that you, I'm, I'm really I'm still working on my English. I wish my English was way better so I can express myself. No, you said it's only been two years, so it's pretty good. <laughs>